Hey, Danny Schechter here, back at Global Vision uh, Action Central uh, for the media channel, talking about what's going on in the media. And dropping in this afternoon in my office is none other than Jay Diamond. Jay has been a talk radio sensation here in New York for many years in the past. He's been involved on air. He's very well known to New Yorkers as a radio talk show host and and he's also somebody who's very critical of the media has been very analytical about it has written widely about right-wing radio and what's wrong with it and the like jay uh lean in a little bit because this is a small camera and and, and talk it's to better, me Danny. yeah talk to me a little bit about your observations how you came to be so critical of of radio well, it's interesting. I was once reading a self-help book by Napoleon Hill called Think and Grow Rich, which is a lot more than about how to make money. It's about how to condition your mind. And he said the mind is a very malleable substance. He said there's the story of somebody who, who went to work in a criminal organization. They didn't know it was a criminal organization, but when they first got the job and they looked around, they saw what was going on, they were repelled by what they saw. And then uh, after two weeks went by, they kind of got used to it, and they were getting a paycheck. And after the fourth week, they were enthusiastically embracing the very sordid environment that only a few weeks before had so repulsed them. So in other That's words, the get, story of my rake's progress in radio. So in other words, you, you, it's easy to get co-opted. It's easy to feel self-important and involved. I mean, I, I worked at ABC News. I worked at CNN. I know that as an outsider, I was critical of them. But when I was on the inside, it was sort of a heady experience in some way. When you become friendly with people and the, the political relationships kind of fall aside and the personal relationships take over, and then suddenly you find yourself being buddy-buddy with people whom you, you might have detested six months ago or whom you would detest in another six months. The, but that a, personal interaction can obscure what is euphemistically referred to as a person's principles. Does that lead to a kind of uh, self-censorship? Have you found that you've pulled your punches? I mean, I did, frankly, when I was at 2020. I knew what my boss wanted, what he hated. Uh, I, you know, I tried to find a way to kind of maneuver around so I could get the content I wanted on the air. Sometimes I was successful, sometimes I wasn't. There's a great liberation when you don't care if people like you anymore. But I would say that you're right. Everybody wants to be admired. Everybody wants to be one of the boys. Everybody wants to be a team player. You know this in any organization, not just a media organization. There is a, there's an internal little voice that tells you to cooperate. To I'm, what's I'm the moving, old expression? I'm moving around to try. To, yeah, I know. I'm I can't try, do it. To either. try to get you. Well, we're going to okay. work out the logistics okay, of yeah. this. Yes, you want to be liked when you go to work. You don't want everybody to look at you like you're an oddball, even if you are an oddball. <laughs> well, I'm very excited about this technology. We haven't really mastered it yet. We don't look great. It's not a big TV studio, but we can bring images to our online readers on Media Channel. We can raise issues using uh, this technology on my iBook here, MacBook, uh, thanks to Jared, who's one of our uh, trainees, interns uh, this summer, helping us work on this. And so I wanted to introduce you to Media Channel readers, because I'm hoping you'll come back and maybe even work with us to create a podcast, to create a regular presence so that we can feedback to readers and they can feedback to us and get a conversation going. So I wanted uh, you to actually experiment. I dragged you into this. You didn't know what I was doing. But I think we will see when we put it online if it works or not. And if it does, uh, let's do more of them. And we'd like uh, our readers to comment on this, make suggestions. How can we make this better? How can we get uh, this technology to be of service uh, to media channel readers? So that's what we're being challenged with, and that's what we hope to come up with. Uh, so that's it. Now, what do you think, Jay? It's I think it's great. It would be the fulfillment of a dream. And let me say to all the media channel folks, what a privilege it is for me to sit here with the dissector himself. Yeah, I just want to tell you something. I'm moving out of this, you know, kind of little limited technology area, Jay, as I mentioned to you. I'm in a movie, an actual movie distributed by Sony Classics called Interview. I have a, a soundbite in it. It's my first appearance in, on, on the Hollywood screen, so to speak. And maybe I'll be up for an Oscar for the best <laughs> soundbite. I don't know. But anyway, it's interview with Steve Buscemi, Sienna Miller, uh, opening uh, Friday, this Friday at Selected Theaters. Uh, 
as David Letterman said when he interviewed Sienna, he said, I hope they select, <laughs> your town selects this movie. So hopefully it will. Check out uh, Interview, uh, one word, uh, with Steve Buscemi directing. I think you'll find it interesting because it deals with the conflict in jur journalism between news biz and show biz. And I think you'll find it interesting. And I think I'm going to find it interesting working with you, Jay. What do you think? Can we do this? Danny, we can do We're it and we will hands. do it. We're shaking hands on camera. Long live so you, media channel. So you know this is going to happen. So thanks.